Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to have so, so, so much fun with Canva. And we are going to learn about how to make some really fun pages. I'm going to share with you some of my favorite hacks, tips, and tricks. Guys, it's just going to be awesome. So we're going to keep going because I've got one more thing that I wanted to show you, which is the calendar page. Okay. So for making a calendar page, you can either do this um, horizontal or vertical. So like a printout page where it would just be, you know, across the top. Um, or you can have it, this is horizontal, that's vertical. There we go. That was the word I was looking for. So for these purposes, um, I wanted to show you that because of the tidying up and everything, the only things that I used, the only different items that I used to make this next page were a color block for the top, a horizontal line, a vertical line, and a text that I liked. So this is what it will look like. This page right here is what it's gonna look like. And then you can add the text to it. So here's what it's going to be, ready? So we have our top line that we like. We have where that's going to go. We're gonna move our color line, which we've super easily gotten over in elements, over in, over in lines and shapes, it's just a standard block. Boop. Remember the lines at the top and the lines on the sides. Want to make sure that it has those. So we have our top line. We're going to copy and paste this bad boy where we want the bottom line to be because we don't want these things to be like, you know, super long or anything. Super long is really relative. We're going to connect these with our other line, which we've made. We're going to copy and paste this across the board here. Because remember, everything gets lined up based on, what is it called? <laughs> the top and the bottom line. Same thing with, with the start and the end line. So we are going to make five weeks. No, actually, because we have to bring this guy in. Got to bring you in. So we have a color background for our text. It's already lined up and everything. Ooh. No, you're not. What are you doing here, friend? And we're going to go zoom in and change that if we need to. Or we can just add a block around the outside so that it is a darker. There we go. And hide things if we have to. Scrolling down. But we're going to get to that in a second. So to make a calendar page, we are going to. Take this, copy and paste, and we need six lines. Paste Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, <laughs> Friday, and Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, so now we have our lines. We're going to Click on each one of them using shift, and then we are going to do position, tidy up. Boom, boom, ba boom, boom, boom. It can actually be that simple. Now we are going to take our horizontal lines and we are going to do five weeks. So we need five weeks, which means that we need four lines. One. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now you can see how they're like really, really far apart. We're gonna take this bottom line, this middle one, next, 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 next. We don't wanna take this top one because this top part is different than the rest of it. We're going to go over to tidy up and ba-boom. There we go. Oh dear. So yeah, ta-da! Tidy up equals my new best friend. It really is. It is like, so you guys have seen the Marie Kondo, the life-changing magic of tidying up. I'm like, I'm pretty sure she was actually talking about this. Like, forget about cleaning up your house. This is magic. Cause this genuinely, genuinely magic. Okay, so. We have our little boxes, we have our outlines. If you want to, you can make sure that they're lined up 
properly, some of them get cranky with me. And then you can just zoom way in and see why they're getting cranky. Why are you getting cranky? No one asked you to get cranky. And yes, I do talk to all of my things in like a mom voice. <laughs> and there we go. Gonna go down here, see how it's a little bit wonky on the edges. You just have to line it up a little bit better. Seems fine there. And so now we're gonna zoom back out because what we're going to do is add in our dates. And I, I like to use simple abbreviations. You don't have to. Um, and then you are going to copy and paste across the board, changing it from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And so to save time, I've already done that. And now we have this guy. And so if we wanted to, if we wanted to do it in the opposite orientation, moving you guys over here, just that so we have you still, move you up here. And it's the same process, kind of repeated. So let's see, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, perfect. Now we are going to line these guys up the same way that we did position, tidy up, make sure they're nice and even. We're going to copy and paste. Down you go. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one more, five. Going to do this, 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 position, tidy up, bing, bang, boom. Now we have another grid. This part is where it gets a little bit fingers crossed here, y'all. Come on. And we bring it over to 90, bring this on down here. And if nothing else, then we have our start. The start of bringing everything over. Because the words are different lengths, it's tough to do tidy up with them. But it's, ooh, did I miss a day? Oh my gosh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh, I missed one, dang it. <laughs> well, real life, guys. Caroline can't count. In case anyone is keeping track of Caroline's brain cells, there's negative numbers in there right now. Ah! I want to get rid of you. There we go. And boop. And now we're going to do tidy up. And so we want to make sure that another cool thing about Canva is that they have these lines and now it's not going to work for me, but they have these lines to make sure that everything is aligned. So you can see like where it's lining up you really want it to have those three lines, but because these are an experiment right now and I hadn't anticipated it and we're running a little bit long and that's my fault. And now we have a calendar. Ta -da! <laughs> so this is actually where it gets really, really cool is these are all things that you can save as JPEGs or PDFs or um, um, PNGs and so that you can reuse them just no matter how big you want them or small you want them. Um, if you need to save them for like mockups instead of like using them for PDFs, you can save it as a JPEG and you have it. It's very, very cool. So let's recap really quick about what we've just created here. So from the top, because this took us an hour and we now have essentially a full planner that we can create. So we started with the idea of having a planner page, okay? Now we've added some notes, which we can go in by the way and go over here to, scrolling, 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 where is my checkbox? We can ungroup this guy, steal the checkbox, group it back up because sometimes we do that and then forget to do it. Line it up right in the middle. And let's see if we can do this. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we are command shift, sorry, shift clicking on all of these boxes, just the check boxes that are already grouped and we want them to get tidied up and boop, now we have checkbox pages on one of our notes pages if we wanted it. 
Okay, we have notes, we have check boxes, we have lined notes, we have smaller lined notes, dotted line notes. We have bullet journal pages. We have a planner page. We have an empty page that we can actually probably do fun things like add these check boxes to if we really wanted to. Get rid of the background if you want. We've made a bunch of check boxes that you can also use, by the way, as like quote sections. If you can drag these guys out. And if you wanted to like write your own little quote or a blurb in there or something, there you go. We've had a big checklist where they can fill things out or you can fill things out. Here's a place where you can actually write out different things. Here's a place where you can expand on your different ideas. You can change the fonts for all of these too. We've made a calendar, we made a few calendars, and another calendar all super quickly. Here's the thing that I love so much is that there are no limits. There are no limits. And a lot of these things, once you've made them, you can use them again as jumping off points because there's nothing worse than just like literally sitting here staring at this blank page and you're like, well, now what? Well, now what? So I hope that you guys learned a bunch of different things because um, it's really, really awesome. Really, really awesome. Super simple to make them. And Canva makes it easy. Um, it's a lot less expensive than Photoshop. It's a lot less expensive than having um, a graphic designer. It's a lot less expensive than having to do InDesign or learn all of those things. It's something that's super attainable for normal people, just like us. And you can do a lot of different things to make them your own.